here's your host, Derek D. Ah. <laughs> But I, but I feel compelled to go, ah. You have to make a sound. I know, I have to make a sound. All right, let's get right to the news. Mercedes goes ahead and shoots their break with a shooting break. Yes, that doesn't make sense. That rapper-singer chick M.I.A. drifts to Middle Eastern rap. Alain Prost races and wins at a whole new kind of ride. And Ferrari's new F1 whip. And hey, we've got a dumbass Tuesday, of course, because it's Tuesday. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. This is Fastlane Daily, and this shitting grin will be on my face for a long time. Ha! Ah, still psyched about that giant Super Bowl win. Are you? <laughs> rolling. Body take four. Rolling, rolling, rolling on Tuesday. It's Tuesday. That's on my mind. All right. So 2004, Mercedes has been killing it with the CLS class, breaking open the four-door coupe market like a boss. Like a boss. Mm. Thank you, Rick. Now, it's got some competition with the likes of the Audi A7 and Porsche Panamera. But to reclaim the style throne, Mercedes showed us that CLS shooting brake concept back in 2010. You remember that, Ian? Yeah. Yeah, you do. In short, people thought it was pretty bitchin'. So Ben said, you know what? Let's go ahead and build it. Well, guess what? We now have some shots of the production version testing with only a smidge of camo, just a smidge. Basically, Mercedes is just covering its ass, figuratively and literally. In the picture, the ass is actually covered, but they're covering it because they don't want people to see it, so they're covering their ass both ways. Now, it's pretty clear the final version will stick to the concept styling with minor changes to the front and rear. Power will come from the coupe's engine offerings, which are 201, 262, 302, and 402 horsepower CDI Boo Efficiency variants. Yeah. Mercedes plans on a summer release with prices just a bit higher than the four-door coupe. Could you guys go for that? Could you guys watch and go for that? I maybe could. Hall Notes couldn't go for it. Nah, no can do. You got it? Hall Notes. So if you were one of the 111.3 million people in the U.S. alone who watched the Super Bowl on Sunday, I don't know how many in the entire world, it was a lot more, I'm sure, when the Giants own Tom Brady and the Patriots, by the way. You may have seen that chick who's a rapper slash singer slash whatever the hell she is, MIA, making an appearance in the halftime show with Madonna. Why, I don't know. Quick side note, she actually flipped the bird at one point during the NBC broadcast and they didn't pick up on it until later. Anyway, she's been busy lately, apparently with a music video called Bad Girls featuring Arabian style drifting called Hagwalla. Or Hogwalla, what do you think, Kat? Say it with me. Hagwalla. All right, you guys correct me if I'm wrong. So, well, let's let's analyze this. We got a British rapper, Middle Eastern music, rapping, and drifting. That's not your everyday combo. But M.I.A., whose real name is Mathangam Arul Pragasam, uh, I totally probably just murdered that name, and I apologize. Not to her, because she sucks, just to everyone who knows how to say that name right. Anyway, she shot the whole video in Middle East, in the Middle East, with local drivers and some European cars like the Alfa Romeo 156 and some older 3 Series BMWs. Now, Arabian drifting is pretty weird, just a straight road with accidents almost guaranteed at high speeds, but I guess it is pretty cool to watch. And of course, they got that whole like car tipped on its side with only one front and one rear wheel touching the ground like you see here. They do that a lot. Takes skill, talent. Either way, that MIA chick is weird, so it all kind of fits. I wish the M I wish I, I tell you I wish she was MIA, if you know what I mean. Like, not around. Anyway, go get yourself some Hagwalla action on. Go get yourself some Hagwalla. <laughs> what am I saying? Hagwalla, Hagwalla. Go enjoy yourself. <laughs> oh, moving on. Infamous Formula One driver Alan Prost. Alan Prost. Son of a bitch. Whore. All right. <laughs> All right. I don't know what's, what's, what's up with you. Anyway, infamous Formula One driver, Alain Prost is known for his rivalry with Ayrton Senna and the amazing skill he showed during his years in F1. But he's not exactly out of the game yet. No, apparently he prefers minivans and French ice racing to F1 cars now. He's racing for the much lesser known Dacia, or Dacia, or Dacia, I've heard it all three ways, in the Andros Trophy Series, where he has known, where he has now claimed the title three times. The most recent of which, the Dacia Lodgy. MPV, that's a multi-purpose vehicle, that's obviously just the shell of the production car that will debut in Geneva. I guess you just don't lose that need for speed, even if it is in the French frozen tundra in a Romanian minivan. Winning is winning, and he's still a straight-up G when he does it. Right? Old school. 
Well, now it's time to watch Dumbass. And no, I'm not talking about me. Because why, guys? It's... Dumbass Tuesdays. That's right. And that is what we do right here on Tuesdays. Check out this guy in his Audi R8. As you can see, he's got his blinker on, pulling into the parking space. He doesn't apply the brake and fence. Right there. Can we hear that? Can we hear that when he hits the fence again? One more time. Oh, very nice. I mean, come on, dude, really? You're obviously going to some car meetup since you're parking right next to a Nissan GTR and a Porsche GT3 RS. So this is definitely not a good way to look cool in front of your friends. It's a way to look like a dumbass, because that is what you are, my friend. Give me that car. I'll park it perfect. Thanks to official Luke's B for suggesting the video. Oh, and uh, Ferrari released their new F1 car a couple days ago, dubbed the F2012, or you could say F2012, fitting. It is the year 2012. Which is ugly, but it's a very speedy red devil. But hey, you know what? Function over form, right? Am I right, in? Yeah. All right, it just wants speed, okay? Maybe we'll see the ugly nose of this thing right here, over there in New Jersey. New Jersey represent, maybe get an F1 race. Weehawken. In Weehawken. Yeah, would be cool. Well, that'll do it for Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Remember, follow us on Twitter. You can follow us on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash Daily. Also, we're on Facebook. Like us, love us, lick us. Don't do that. That's facebook.com slash Daily. Also, subscribe right here on YouTube. Want to hit 100,000 subscribers in very soon days. All right? It's up here. It's over there. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. All right? Goodbye, Internet world. I will talk to you tomorrow. Hump day. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? I don't know. Uh, seems like it's a different day than it really is. Um, infamous Formula One driver Alain Prost is known for his rivalry with Air Rivalry. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to go. What's wrong with me today? And I don't know. All right, who cares? Infamous Formula One driver Alain Prost is known for his rivalry with. I can't say rivalry. Rivalry. Rivalry, 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 rivalry. He's racing for the much lesser known Dacia, Dacia, or Dacia. I've heard it all three ways, so you can yell at me now for pronouncing it wrong. He's racing in the Dacia. He's racing. I'm not gonna f that. I'm not gonna say that. I'm just gonna say Dacia. He's not exactly out of the racing game yet. <laughs> Rewind. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.